How's it going everyone, a Shrewsbury here, and I thought I'd make a tutorial on how to use arrays in the Overwatch Workshop mode, the Overwatch Workshop editor. So, arrays can be very helpful to your scripts, it allows you to add a lot more stuff and cycle through different pieces of data very fast. However, they can be a bit tricky in how you implement them. For this tutorial, I will be making a simple script that lets you go to a certain location, say you picked a hero like soldier, you could go to a spot on the map and then hit a button, we'll make it crouch, and then you'll create an effect at that location. But we'll add that to an array of a lot of effects, so we could move out of the way and look back and see that that effect is still in that original location that we were, and then we could create more effects at different locations and go around and paint the map with different effects and have them all remain there without having them jump back to us every time we hit the button. So let's get right into the script if you're interested in learning how to use arrays in the Overwatch Workshop mode, stick around. So um, we only need one script for this, and this is going to trigger when we hit a button. So let's hit is button held, and we will do crouch. Okay, once we have our button set up, now we need to start adding effects to the array. And we don't want to override our data that we have already, so we're going to use a function called append to array. But in order to implement this, it's a bit odd. So you're going to have to go modify player variable of the event player A. So we'll use A for all our effects and stuff. And then in this operation, where we actually modify it, replace this with append to array. And then we need to have some sort of value. So this could be anything, but in our case, we need the position of the player at the current moment so we can remember it. So let's type in position of event player. So this will store and continue to, to store positions of the player as we hit crouch. Now, one thing that's good to do is when we want to use them later in the future, we need some way to keep track of which one we want to pull from. For our specific case, we just want to store that value and then uh, create an effect at that location, which is a certain index in our array. So let's add modify player variable B. This is what we'll use to kind of thumb through our different index by one. So now um, we have a variable that will track how many things we have in our array. For like, more specifically, it'll have the data for the current thing that we just made. So let's have create effect now. Let's do an orb, let's make it red, and the position, here is where we start to use the array. We need, we need value in array. So our array is going to be A of the player variable. Make sure you switch that because it defaults to global. Now the index basically means which thing in the array do you want? Because it's a list and they're all labeled uh, starting kind of at zero, zero has some other data, and starting at one and going up. So we have a variable for this, that's B, for the, the last one we did, because B is incrementing, it's going up as we add more things. That seems good. Now this is all you need. Technically you could do the, a similar script um, there is one thing actually we need to add, and that is don't update the position. So this reevaluate says if these values change, update the thing, but we don't need that. We need it to anchor into a spot. So let me go ahead and restart. You can technically do this without an array, but I will show you that we do have an array full of positions now that we can always go back to. So if you look if we take May here and we hit crouch, an orb will pop up and it's anchored to that position. Now if we hit crouch again, 
We got a new orb, and we can create a bunch of orbs. Now, if we hit the inspect editor, we can see in variable A, we have a whole bunch of positions, and in B, we have an index that is the highest thing. So, if you wanted to get some get the position of the third orb that you created, you could access the variable at index 3 and you would get that position. So, that's how to use arrays. That's a little bit about how to modify the arrays and add values to the end of it. Leave a subscribe if you found this helpful. I make a bunch of videos about how to use the workshop editor. I teach how to make your own heroes, your own game modes, and just little things like this. So if you found this helpful, please leave a comment, a like, and a subscribe. And until next time, thanks and have a good day.